All right. Good evening, good afternoon, and I'm saying it backwards. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whichever it may be. It is my afternoon. I have tried this three times, and my phone keeps messing up. My Wi-Fi, for some reason, is just being very, very splotchy. I don't know what's going on. So, I have had numerous ones that I've had to delete because of the corruption. <laughs> Joy's been in a dead zone, even with Wi-Fi. But the thing for today is, if you saw in the picture, I was holding up some paper. Teresa Keto, Fat Girl No More. Hi, girl. Hope you're doing good with your job and all. You better be getting some rest. But um, she tagged me a couple weeks ago in a 10-question tag, and I hadn't gotten to it because I was sick when she tagged me. Then my kids got sick, and then I got sick again. So I am trying to get this done, and... You guys need to be careful because at the end I get to tag other people and it could be you. So listen for your name in case it is. All right, let's get on with this. Oh, and I'll apologize in advance. I'm in my living room. I'm in my living room trying to do something different. There are playrooms behind me, so they'll probably be running in and out. And they're running in and out to upstairs to some of them to go upstairs and play games. So you're going to be hearing my little ones. I can't say I'm sorry for the noise. That's the joys of being a mama bear with a big crew. So let's get on with the questions. Question number one. What inspired me to start making YouTube videos? Watching other YouTubers and talking to other ones and loving this community that I had found um, and wanting to be a part of it. And second, I believed that God was kind of nudging me because I had stayed in a cocoon for so long that it was to help me shed that shell I had put around myself and to show others that even at 43 and a crazy, crazy budget that I have for food and having to go to food banks, guys, I'm just throwing it out there being honest. Um, and having so many kids, even on keto, that if I could do it, you could do it. And I wanted, even if it was just one person, guys, to inspire just that one. So that's why I started making YouTube videos. How long have I been on YouTube? I know the exact date my first one went out on. Um, my first one went out on July 2nd, but it officially launched on July 4th of this year. All right, can we be nice, please? No. It, whoa, excuse you? Yeah. Sorry, Mommy Judy's called. Yeah, we're about to say Please mind. stop. Now, please. No more disrespect. That's all I'm asking. I did, I don't want bad right now. Sorry. Okay, um, what is my dream job? I'm doing my dream job. I always told my mother I always wanted to be a mom like her and a wife. And I have been blessed to have a wonderful husband for the and Jen will be 19 years. Um and seven beautiful hard-headed but blessings. They are my blessings. They are Dalton, Cody, Brianna, Ellie, Gracie, Renee. Gracie um, Renee. Me. You can hear her probably talking right there. She's Gracie Renee Manyhead. That's what she just called herself. <laughs> and Rylan, we call him henchman. And then Aaron Noah, the little one. So those are my seven blessings. I have been truly blessed. Uh, 19 years in January with my husband, and we'll be together 20 years. So I'm truly blessed. What is a phrase that I always say? Here on YouTube, um, I do my moving movements. Um, I always do my moving movements. And um, I'm always saying, get up and get moving. Doesn't matter if you just walk in place. Um, then my other thing I would say is stay calm and cool and keto on. Oh, I have one coming in. Goodness, kids. You gotta love them. Um, to my kids, it's always stop. 
you know, I always have phrases. I don't know. I think those are my phrases for YouTube. It's my moving movements. Get up and get moving. It doesn't matter if you just walk in place. Um, question number five. Question number five. Do people at work or your family know I, you have a channel? Um, I don't work. <clears throat> so, well, actually, I do work. I have a full-time job being a mom. I'll take that back because that is a full-time job. And if you disagree, shame on you. Um, but my family, yes, I didn't know they knew, but they do. Um, not just, you know, my kids and all. Um, my oldest lets his friends know on his YouTube channel because um, he does um, gaming stuff. But uh, I believe my father-in-law knows and then one of my sisters knew and she told one of my brothers I can't even talk one of my brothers and he found me um, so yes they know and it, it's okay I'm glad they know because that's like I said stepping out of the shell that I had put myself into that I am now out of so that, it's good number six are you named or related after anybody famous my mother just always loved the name Renee, and she said I look like a Renee, and that's what I got named. So, where no question number seven? Where do you see your channel in five years? Now that's a good question because in five years, um, YouTube could be gone. But um, in five years, if God willing, I'm hoping that it will grow the way that He wants it to grow. Um, I would like to continue my keto, and I would can love to continue my moving movements. Um, involving my kids more in it. I love doing my cooking stuff. Um, my mama bear cooking straw vaganza. I love those. Um, I also would like to start doing more reviews about stuff because I really believe reviews are important. Keto and non-keto. I believe that, see they're going into the playroom. I believe um, them and people out there need to know about products approved or not approved um, on your personal unbiased opinion I believe it's important I believe it's important to get um, that information out there I believe it's important 100% to do, to do those so that's what I'm hoping in the next five years that it will grow um, as God allows it to grow um, and to go in the directions that it's going however it may go so Okay. Question number eight. Number eight says, "Can you swim good?" Yes. Being a second oldest of ten, we were learned. We learned very what early. What about sissy? What about sissy? Yeah. No, sissy's still learning to swim. But um, yes, we learned very early, early, early to swim. So it, it was we did because we had a pool. So we we learned. Number nine. You say hello. He wanted to say hello. He put his face in front of the phone. Number nine. What are your favorite types of YouTube videos to watch or make? I'm going to answer the first part. Would you stop? <laughs> You're being goofy. Stop. He's turning the phone to him. Finish eating, okay? My favorite type of videos to watch um, is other people's journeys. I love watching however what type of weight loss journey they have, what type of fitness journey they have. Um, cooking, I love cooking stuff. I love the ideas to brainstorm my ideas or to change an idea. I love watching when somebody else's journey, even though it may not have worked for me, it works for them. I love getting their input. I love getting their non-input. I love getting their criticism about it, of what they might think was okay about it and not okay about it. I love their inspiration. I love their motivation. But most of all, I love their accountability because that's one thing about YouTube. You're held accountable. You, you have to be held accountable. So that's on, on that one. And the reason why I make my type of videos is I want to be held accountable for my weight loss on a healthy way. 
I want to be held accountable for my fitness in a healthy way. I love knowing that I can get the feedback from it, criticism or not. Um, I love knowing that it might inspire somebody, it might help somebody, um, it might give somebody a giggle um, or not. Um, I love making my cooking shows, I love making my my keto stuff, I love making my ke uh, cooking stuff with my kids, I really, really, really love those, and my moving movements, um, and I really, really want to start doing more reviews, so if you guys have any reviews you'd like me to do, let me know, because um, I really believe that stuff's important, so that's where I want to start continuing making those. So question number 10 is, what is the one thing in your closet that you can't live without? Guys, this was so easy. The stuff in my closet's material. It can be replaced. Shoes can be replaced. Clothes can be replaced. Um, yes, I have mementos back from when I was little. They're going to go to my kids. I have collector stuff in there that I've been collecting for them. That'll go to my kids. They can be replaced. It, it might take a long time, but it can be replaced. Um, clothing to me, um, I enjoyed so much purging my closet. Um, some of it I have, I'm going to do, put them on now to show how far I've come. But I love the fact that I got to throw so much of it away because it was an empty shell that had holes in it. And the reason why is because I had holes in myself. And it represented a part of me that I got to throw away and leave behind. It, it, it's gone. Um, and the rest of it I washed and I'm donating it to another lady that needs it. Um, but clothing is just a material thing. It can go. It can It can be rebought. It can be... Um, that's hubby. Um, it can be replaced. But the three things I will tell you right now, I absolutely cannot live without. He's at work. Um, I cannot live without the love of my God and the grace I have from him, the saving grace. I cannot live without my biggest blessing, my husband of 19 years. And he's my biggest supporter right now and my seven blessings. Yes, they're a headache. Yes, they're aggravating. Yes, I go days without sleep. But they're my blessings that I was told I'd never have. And I have seven of them. Um, yes, I lost a few of them to miscarriages. I know where they're at. And I can replace material things, but I can't replace those. You can't replace blessings that God handed you and told you to take care of. Um, so you... you I don't know if that's a good enough answer for you guys, but that's my answer. That's just the way I feel. Um, I love denim. I love sandals. I do not wear tennis shoes, but I will probably have to buy a pair here soon, especially with all my working out and walking so I don't hurt my feet. And there's the kids in the background. Sorry, Mama Bear and my crew. But um, I love tank tops. As you can see, I'm always wearing tank tops. But... I I have a really nice set of clothing that I was able to get very dirt cheap on eBay. Really nice stuff, guys. What? I can replace all that because in another six months, if I continue going the way that I'm going, I'm a half a pound away from being 100 pounds down. Um, my body's changing with my working, working out. So those clothes in six months, it's going to have to go. It's going to have to be purged again. So it's it's not, I can't live without them. They're, they're fine. It's something to go on to somebody else's journey and to let them enjoy them. So, all right, enough of that. <laughs> My tags are number one, can't wait, smells great, Miss Robin. Guys, she's got a, a really cute channel. Um, she does some really good um, cooking stuff. Oh, she does some good cooking stuff. So, you guys need to go get her. Um, keto for Deb. Miss Deb, I don't remember if you got tagged or not. And if you did, I'm sorry. Just let me know in the comments below. And you can get out of this one. Um, Miss Simply Jordan. 
you guys have got to go check out that sweet lady. Um, she's just so sweet and so inspirational. And she's been having a hard time, guys. But you guys just really need to go. I'm sorry. She's an inspiration to me. And I want her to be an inspiration for you guys, too. So you need to go check her out. And um, you're tagged. You got to do it. Okay? Miss Beth Morgan, hi again. I'm tagging you and Miss Lizzie when she feels better. I know you said she's been feeling bad. So you guys got to do the 10 question tag. I don't care if it's any any questions, okay? Um, you guys need to check out Beth because she's doing a different type of weight loss. It's not keto, but it's working for her what hers is. And I'll let her explain it to you. Um, she's been doing really good. And her her daughter, she's just she's beautiful. She's just a really sweet inspiration. And her superpower is autism, guys. So she's super sweet. And the last person I'm tagging is I really love his channel. And um, I really love his content. And I love being part of his groups. And it's the Keto Mechanic, Mr. Richard. And I just want to say you guys need to go and see his stuff. Um, he does really good stuff. He stands up for what he believes in. Um, check him out. And Mr. Richard, I just have to say thank you for my blessing from you this week. Um, sorry again, guys. I got to get a hold of him. Okay, guys. Um, those are my tags. If you guys can do it, let me know. If you can't do it, let me know. Um, I just wanted to say stay calm, stay cool, and keto on. And like Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and share, and you guys have a very blessed day. See you guys all later. Blessings.